we will be attempting question 198. It's a hard one, but is a good example to show how great this method is. We're going to do the whole thing algebraically, using simultaneous equations. First step, put a different letter by each term to signify an unknown quantity. We know that no atoms are lost. So whatever is there before is there after. Let's write a balance for each element. Carefully. Watch out for brackets, as they can trip you up easily. Okay, it is important you know that the most important thing in balancing an equation is the proportion, not the scale, so getting a fraction, or all fractions isn't a sign you've done it wrong. Let's say B is 1, let's substitute. Now let's scale it by multiplying by 6 just to get rid of fractions. Even without doing this the answer is still correct technically. This just makes it neater. This will save you loads of time. Balancing equations can be long and tedious and time-wasting, so there is no need to do it haphazardly, randomly or by trial and error. Trial and error ain't good for shit. It might as well be like in this case the balls are your atoms. Hey, yo, Metro, no,